you know, uh, the, the method or the approach which is called as depositing the materials in layers, you know, based on some digital model, okay? Now, you know, in the whole process, what happens is you, we use a lot of automation. So it, it's not about, you know, just, you know, talk, talking about uh, a 3D printing machine, but in 3D printing machine, it's, it's advanced CNC, you can call it as, but 3D printing technology can be used to create everything from the prototype. So you basically need a CAD model, you know, to do this exercise. And uh, you can go from very simple parts to very highly complicated parts, like for example, the aeroplane, you know, the parts, or maybe some uh, eco-friendly buildings, or maybe you can go ahead with, uh, you know, the printing of uh, such complicated medical implants as well. So, so you know, all these things we need, uh, you know, to have the CAD model. So therefore, it is ideal way to uh, to kickstart or to, to mm -hmm. understand what is the future basically because this is to be a kind of you know, platform which is used, uh, you know, in this uh, particular framework. And uh, uh, the uh, the another the the portion is about the what are the you know the methods of 3D printing. So once we have uh, the first method which is called as fused filament fabrication, which is also called as FFF. Okay. Uh, so these are some advanced techniques. So it's also called as fused deposition modeling. This is the short form is also called as FDM. So this method of uh, 3D uh, printing is basically, uh, you know, heating the plastic and then extruding uh, this plastic materials, uh, you know, uh, in a layer by layer. So it's it's a uh, it's also common in both the consumer and the professional 3D printers. And the examples of 3D printer include the MakerBot replicator. Or Ultimaker, uh, there is Strasis. So these are the printers which are which are commercially available. And uh, you know uh, the another uh, the method which is uh, for three D printing is the stereolithography, uh, which is also called as SLA. This method is of three D printing uses uh, UV light to cure or harden the resins. So if we have the resins which is exposed to some UV rays, and then it, it the moment it gets uh, uh, the hit on those particles of the resins, it, it will become hard. So that's example, uh, you know, we have ordered this cumber printer as well, you know, for this, uh, for uh, SLA. Then the third approach or the third common method of 3D printing is uh, selective lasers in tree, which is also called as SLS. And uh, this is common, uh, you know, used in all industrial manufacturing methods. Uh, and and uh, this method is quite popular also because here we use powder, okay? So what we do is basically we uh, is put the powder and then powder is uh, uh, layered or it is combined uh, in a layer by layer, uh, you know, with the, with the help of the uh, SLS machine, okay? Uh, so this machine is also called as 3D printer uh, and manufacturing also includes EOS as well as 3D printing machines, okay? So this is kind of, you know, methods that we're gonna use, but I would just would like to give some, you know, the bigger picture of, you know, how you, uh, you know, get into this, uh, the, the applications uh, of 3D printing. And of course, you wanna see the live demonstration of uh, the 3D printing as well. So here, uh, this uh, this industry, which is, a, we, we call it as design and manufacturing industries. Um, and uh, they have created, such a massive uh, uh, the market in CAD, CAM, and CAE, uh, which is completely you know focused on various applications. And uh, when I'm talking about these applications, uh, you know it has uh, basically uh, uh, three roles, three sources of uh, 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 to work on these applications. Number one is the data. Okay, so in traditional product development process, uh, the uh, process business creates and consumes huge amount of data, okay? Often in different formats, which do not work together. Uh, and, and, and then sometimes you require uh, 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 loss of those data, or it's called as lossy transition, okay? Now, the second uh, the point I would like to talk about or would like to highlight about the experience. The single uh, users may require a multiple uh, of tools to do their job. You know, it could be a 3D modeling, it could be a mold, it could be a 3D printing, 
uh, it could be a CAD creation, but all these tools have a different user interfaces and the experience, uh, which results into uh, some exponential um, learning curve and you know the wasted of resources. Okay, so that's basically the experience. The third part, which I would like to focus on, is about technology. Now, in order to take this design through to a manufacturing, when I say it's a manufacturing, it could be a 3D printing. The, the, some people will also call it as 3D printing as, as a, uh, the uh, additive manufacturing as well. And you need to know many tools, you know, from different vendors to complete this type of process. Okay, so you basically have to be, uh, you know, understand the different types of data structures and you know the other parameters. So it is going to be very cumbersome process. So, but here, you know, what is unique is we believe, in order to believe everyone involved in the design and as well as in the manufacturing process should have uh, access to the data in the connected and seamless way. And this is why we built Fusion 360. You know, you have seen the why Fusion 360. So that's basically we built the Fusion 360. Now, what are the benefits? Because it combines, uh, you know, design, documentation, uh, rendering, simulation, cam around common user, you know, experience, data model, which is available from various vendors. And you can, uh, you know, build your product and the process is on top of it. Okay. So that's, that's really interesting. Now, we are bringing together the technologies, was, as I mentioned, you know, uh, which is, uh, which is basically the integrated way. Uh, uh, we, we call it as the integrated platform. That makes it easy to connect all the phases of product development process. Now, you can view the data in a single source or easily you can collaborate with internal as well as external stakeholders. Now, for example, if you're a student, now you can collaborate with the you know, industries or if the, you're the industry people or the consultants, you can you know, collaborate with the faculties as well as you can collaborate with the students. So you can access the data and the technology across the devices from single, single way, you know, because the seamlessly way, you know, with, with, with no cost for the students as well. Now, coming back to the manufacturing, uh, you know, the industry, you know, as, as I mentioned, it's, it's not about CNC or something, but man manufacturing industry is also evolved. You know, it has evolved with new initiatives, like right now we are talking about industry 4.0 uh, we are talking about smart manufacturing and there is a lot of ongoing focus um, you know on digitization you know due to this covid-19 also and because this covid-19 has also um, uh, pushed all these customers in fact all these manufacturing top leading manufacturing companies on the cloud okay so it's taking advantage of these trends and it is very critical to eliminate inefficiencies in your current process right so if you are using some particular process you know how how that process has to be improved okay now we uh, as as i mentioned it, it has a really powerful and you know the best workflow as i mentioned uh, uh the traditional cad platforms are completely fragmented and uh, very expensive in, in you know in, in that way and they are also disconnected you know causing a lot of you know inefficiencies uh, you know, in the data transfer as well. So, uh, you know, these softwares actually, you know, as I mentioned, we have this platform, uh, which we're going to use, which is called as Fusion 360. Uh, this software, you know, breaks down uh, the communications, you know, in barriers between these different phases. Uh, if there are changes needed to be made, we can see, we can, uh, 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 we can do it very easily. So you don't have to spend too much of, uh, you know, hard work to do it. Uh, but in other uh, the platforms, there will be kind of you know poor communication. Uh, there will be also upstream of uh, uh, the data. Sometimes there is a, the mistakes and the feedback which comes in real time, and you cannot make those changes in your in your product. Okay, so therefore uh, the uh, the lengthy programming sometimes is also takes a lot of time. So we have considered all those things you know uh, in an integrated way. Okay. So, you know, we go from design to manufacturing very fast, okay? And if you make any design change, uh, the, the, the programming in, in terms of additive manufacturing or in terms of CNC things, it will change automatically because there is a bi-directional associativity and, and it goes from the Fusion 360 and other CAD 
uh, tools are uh, leveraging uh, the technology which is called as AnyCAD. Okay, so uh, just give me one second. Uh, sorry, I think the small, uh, the small excuse, uh, a small mistake was there. Um, so, as I mentioned, we can go from uh, you know design to make, okay, uh, with this super process, uh, and uh, it should be a very fast process, as you say. And all the changes what we made uh, in the in the overall process, uh, you know, it can be managed, you know, very easily, okay. Uh, now. Uh, uh, the the other the important piece of you know information is you know about the uh, the different types of machines right so uh, we may think about the the accessibility you know of these kind of you know machines and in fact most of the students are now building their 3d printers at their home but we have already uh, you know uh, I, I told you about you know how you can use this technology you know across the different devices you know uh, whether it is a mobile browser or whether it is a PC or it is a Mac machine. Uh, so this Fusion 360 comes with the complete, uh, you know, the library of open source, a uh, lot of, you know, free standard post processors. And also these processes are also used in the 3D printing process. And uh, we have also created a lot of free uh, in the training courses as well. Uh, we have the, you know, thousands of YouTube videos as well, you know, to ensure that you can learn uh, this, this tool really quickly and uh, we are also providing the access to advanced capabilities of this technology through conjunction of you know different types of services you know such as generative design or it's also called as manufacturing extensions okay now uh, the another very important piece is uh, we talking about this complete change okay now when i say changes there is a change which is inevitable and we would like to uh, get the get this change through an integrated way so how you can increase the quality of your parts right how you can reduce the uh, the the build time or maybe if it is cnc machine how you can reduce the cycle time and increase the your bottom line utilization uh you know but on a single unified platform so now this is this is really uh you know the key for you know today's uh, uh you know today's world uh, and that's why this, this platform becomes really useful for all of us. And as I mentioned, you know, uh, we, we, we just talk about not only 3D printing, but in additive manufacturing, uh, we have various features. Like, for example, we can look at, like, you know, how you can print the various parameters. Automatically, you know, you can orient the parts to build uh, the successful the part, right? You can minimize the build lengths to reduce the build time as well because we can actually calculate the build time of these kind of different different parts and the technology really allows you to create these type of different types of designs which are optimized um, uh, and when we say optimized the structures are more organic and to print this you need to generate support structures you need to have a different strategies for creating the tool parts and also export directly to the to the uh, you know the powder made machines uh, okay so like sls so or some some other other machines as well and uh, you know export uh, 3mf file as well because this is something uh, which is which is necessary in the technical world okay so with this information which i would like to hand over you know to the uh, you know uh, ram shankar uh, and i'll stop my screen sharing yes sir Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you so much for your uh, valuable uh, information about uh, what it is the fusion and the futures of the 3D printing and the scope of the upcoming technologies. Uh, right now, I would uh, like to hand over the session to Mr. Yuvaraj, uh, who will be coordinating uh, the other part of the meeting. Thank you, Mr. Ramesh, sir, for the yes, wonderful speech Good about morning, the 3D printing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks, Kumresh. We are, we are always going you know, to start collaborating. Yeah, thank you. Right, sir. Thank you. All the best, Yuvraj. Yeah, thank you, sir. Hi, good morning, all.
and this is Yuvraj working as a CAD engineer at 3D printing division in CAD Technologies, Coimbatore. And today we are going to see about 3D printing technologies and its applications, okay? So we all know about manufacturing, right? Oh, just a minute. I'm going to share my screen. Yeah. Yeah, one minute. Yeah, hope you call it. You are able to see my screen. Let us see about three D printing. So before we go into three D printing, let us see about what is industry four point zero. Okay. So at twenty twenty, here this is called industry four point zero. Okay. So in this picture, if you can able to understand that what is going on so the technology is developing from a uh, engine stream engine and next it has developed to petrol engine diesel engine. then it has moved to electrical vehicle now so it has moved to autonomous vehicle so this is called industry 4.0 okay so likewise so in 3d printing also there is an technology development okay so before going into 3d printing you need to create a 3D model, okay. So like that for industry manufacturing also need a CAD. So industry in manufacturing is nothing but sorry. So industry is but we are manufacturing like a forging process, like uh, casting, uh, engine components like a crank crankcase or crank piston or like that we are manufacturing, right? So we have an after manufacturing we have a lot and lot of process like finishing removing the scraps like that we have a lot and lot of process right so avoid that we have over, overcome to traditional manufacturing okay so before getting into a traditional manufacturing we have two types of manufacturing so one is additive manufacturing then another one is subtractive manufacturing okay so let us see about additive manufacturing later now we see about subtractive manufacturing okay so subtractive manufacturing is this process that you are seeing okay so separative manufacturing is also called as traditional manufacturing so in separative manufacturing we all know well we are studying at engineering we used to work it at uh, lathe machines or milling machines drilling boring so these are called removal of materials from raw material right and making a part right so that is called traditional manufacturing and separative manufacturing okay so before getting into manufacturing we we, we, we will see about what are the drawbacks and what it overcomes to additive manufacturing okay so once if you are getting getting into an industry and taking a raw material manufacturing an engine okay so engine block okay so from for engine block you are manufacturing and removing the scraps and you are making to your imagination your requirement okay you are transforming it to your requirement and it has been finished at the end so from one you are taking a 1 kg and finishing it to half kg okay so remaining 500 kg is waste, 500 grams of waste, no. So like that, you're removing that waste and you're re reusing it as secondary component. So you will be avoiding this and have upgraded to traditional manufacturing, okay? Even though in this process, we have drawbacks, okay? So material wastes are there a lot and lot. So we have been upgraded to additive manufacturing. So in that, there is no, no material wastage, okay? If it is there also, you can able to reuse it. Okay, so there are a lot and lot of drawbacks and still industry is focusing on additive manufacturing until now we are industry are upgrading to additive manufacturing. Okay. So let us get into and 3D printing. Okay, so 3D printing is nothing. Okay, it's nothing but but it has a technology. So it is it has been using from a kid from kid it is using to industry level so as a professionalist you can use it. Okay, so I will tell you that how they are using it. Okay, so before getting, in, let us get into it, 3D printing. So it is three dimensional object we are creating. Okay, and it has any, I can, you, you can able to see a CAD models that are available here. So we are adding the material by layer by layer. So that is called as additive manufacturing. For example, we can layer by, you can ask me a question that what is uh, adding material layer by layer? It is nothing but, yeah, for example, during functions, we used to keep a cone, right? So like that, the material will be extruding. Like that, it will be extruded the layers, okay? 
So like this, you can see a building block like this. The layer will be creating. Okay. And first, first of all, we will create a CAD model in using professional software or unprofessional software. Okay. So professional software are like SolidWorks, Creo, CAD, all called as professional software, and non-professional software is called FreeCAD and Slash or Sculpt. So like that, there are many softwares are available that is are user friendly for kids. Okay, so professional softwares are used by an engineers. Okay, so after you're creating a 3D model, so before manufacturing, you need need a CAD model, 3D model. Okay, so creating using a software and you are saving it as STL. So STL is nothing but but studio lithography. Okay, this is the file format. For example, you're creating a word file formats like a word PPT and uh, Microsoft Excel. So like that, you have various file formats, right? So like that, this is a standard file format for 3D printing. So later it has been, uh, I would like to about, tell about how it has been came. Okay, so really it's an interest, interesting thing that you have to know about 3D printing. So it has been came from 1984, okay, Charles, that he only the created this 3d printing so while he's creating that it has a 1d so 1d is nothing but xy direction so we used to take xerox papers right so that is called as xy and 1d channel so like that it has developed to 2d channel then it has been developed to 3d channel and it laterally the 3d printing has been developed by 1d channel with array formation okay so array formation nothing but the 3d printing can able to move in xyz query directions right so coordinates based also it can able to move okay uh, from industry you need a large and large in traditional manufacturing you need more manpower to replace the components or inserting the components for machining right so here you no need anyone else for those who are interested to become an entrepreneur this will this is the best opportunity to learn 3d printing and they can use to create a mass production and they can develop easily okay so let us Move on to next. Yeah, this is also an interesting thing about an additive process. So already, so additive process is nothing but additive manufacturing. We, we used to call it as shortly. We used to call it as AM. Okay. So we have various types of process. So additive means uh, in manufacturing we used to tell like forging, casting, and uh, machining process like that we all have no. So like that in additive process we have certain types. Okay. So extrusion, deposition. Okay, so extrusion deposition is nothing but the fusion deposition model. So it's also like uh, like a solid material is extruded and it has been melted. We can take the candle. So like the, how it is melting. So like that it is melting and we can creating a shape. What is the requirement you are making? No. So as, as per the cast CAD model, we are making it. Okay. So granular material binding. So here itself, we can able to understand that what is the granular material. It's a nothing but a granular. It's a parts uh, like a sand. We are building a building, right? So like that, uh, we, we are making a sand, cement, like that we are bonding. I mean, bonding means you're getting, uh, you're, you're making it like a clay and you're pasting it, right? So like that, granular meeting. It is also available in 3D printing and you can able to create. But we have two types of, before that I like to tell, there are two types of process. So one is based on education purpose that is called desktop printers. Then second type is an industry printers. Okay. So it has a huge level and mass production printers. Okay. So now we are seeing about the gannel that, that only we have seen that it has been dumped uh, in a tray. It will be packed and, and packed with, uh, it, it, it is in the form of liquid. Okay. So by using the laser or something and you're printing it. Okay. At the laser, where is laser is going? That's in the solid material, sorry, liquid material, and it will be get tightened back. Okay. So, and then that, I mean, that is the process called granular material binding. So lamination, so lamination is nothing but we are laminating the papers, right? So like that, the material is laminating. Okay. So photopolymerization is based on lasers. It has been printing. So like that, we will be seeing the process what are available at next. Yeah, let's move to next. Yeah, these are the additive design for additive manufacturing. In this, if you know these all things, you can able to work it in 3D printing with confident. Okay, in 
So, and I'd like to tell about 3D printing. It is the future technology. Okay. So, like that, uh, we are using mobile phones and internets to cloud connect. You know, like that, it is also a cloud connecting process also available. So, first, we can see about what is the tools and techniques are available at additive manufacturing. Okay. So, part consolidation is this is nothing but a CAD model you have designed and you are inserting it and you are making it at required shape using 3D printers by using cloud connect or LAN connection or RST file format using SD cards, you can able to transform it, okay? So ne next we can see about weight, light weighting. So in 3D manufact manufacturing, you can see the material is very lightweight and very ductility material, okay? And it will be very strong, okay? And material op optimization and structural optimization can be obtained good, okay? Let us see about heterogeneous modeling. So heterogeneous modeling is nothing but, before you're building a, building okay you will be making it to a skeleton scale okay for example we can take a cumin we have a skull okay like a bones we have no like that we have before manufacturing we used to tell it as heterogeneous modeling so heterogeneous modeling after heterogeneous modeling you can able to print this model exactly and finally i will tell you that in software also okay so let us get into a generative design actually sir i'll already tell you about generative design Actually, in future technology, design, generative design is a major part and it's a major role. Okay. Next, we are getting into an hierarchical structure and it is also nothing but in heterogeneous is overcome to an hierarchical structure. Okay. So, next, get on to an topology optimization. So, topology optimization is also literally similar to generative design. So, it's, we have major difference between these two uh, generative design and uh, topology optimization so it's nothing but in generative design we have iterations so iterations means you are applying the load and you can able to reduce the materials okay it, no we are not reducing it will reduce okay in our topology optimization we will reduce okay and you can able to reduce only one time and you can able to see at only one component you can able to see okay i'll show you a demo that at last that was the difference between these two and uh, for even you can take an example using the answers we are Analysis, you know, that is called as topology optimization. At here, generative design, we have a lot and lot of iterations. So iteration means you are reducing the weight uh, layer by layer. Layer by layer, you are reducing the weight and you are reducing the materials. Okay. Then we are getting into an modeling for hybrid AM. So in future technology, the automobile are transforming to hybrid vehicles, like electric vehicles, right? So industry also, we are they are using the additive manufacturing process. For example, let us get to an interesting topic you all know about the bucati car right so it's also an impact uh, in future uh, before going that we can let us see about that uh, it's in 2020 is fastest car in the world and it is the first fastest car in the world so even they have manufacturing their parts using the building blocks like a building box they are manufacturers they have reduced the material they are not using the material like um, metals or alloy materials they haven't Manufactured. They're like uh, we used to see the kids are playing with building blocks, right? So like that, they have created an entire car with building blocks and they have assembled it. Okay. So after assembling it, they have run the car up to 40 to 50 kilometers. It has been run smoothly and they have achieved. Okay. Now they are moving on to further process. Okay. And uh, before they are going to further process, they K models are available. Okay. So like that, they are also using the additive manufacturing process. So clay model is nothing but it is entirely differ from additive manufacturing. Okay, even there is also a subtractive manufacturing also available in that. Okay, so let us get on to functional integration. So functional integration is nothing but user friendly you can use in the software. So user friendly using the software like a conceptual cars you can be able to see and without the dimension the cars are designed. After the finishing we will be aligned the cars and as per the requirement of customer they are redesigning it. Okay. Let us get on to and mass customization. This is an important thing for additive manufacturing and for future technologies also it's a very useful thing. Okay, so mass customization in, for example, traditional manufacturing, they used to manufacture the component. N number of mass, for mass production, they're used to manufacture and you need more manpower to create this. And you need to create a CAD model, you should generate a CAD model, CNC coding, you should, you should mug up that and you should create it and then you should feed to machine if it, you should 
maintain that properly right so in additive manufacturing you don't need any manpower even you, you need only one manpower to initialize okay so once if you initialize it's automatically you can able to get, take a multiple components at one time okay and the finishing will be exactly good okay so let us get on to next so this is a general principle okay so you are creating a 3d model in using the 3d software as that is called as uh, digital data okay so you used to create a cad model in digital data and saving it to a binary codes so using the i'm sorry so turning it to binary codes i mean binary codes is nothing but you are saving this file as stl no that is called as binary codes while you are saving this it will ask to change it into binary codes Now, binary codes is nothing but uh transforming uh your imagination cad model to print no so that is called binary language so you're creating a 3d physical component to printing right so initially you're creating a model you can able to see the diamond right so that is the model you have created using the softwares and next you're slicing so you need a two softwares to print this okay so i'm first i'm initializing the cad 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 for 3d printing exactly as per your requirement as per the customer requirement you are printing i mean creating this then you are taking into slicing software you can ask me question that what is mean by slicing software slicing software is nothing but as per your requirement 3d print has to analyze that what your requirement now for that we are using the slicing software okay so slicing software it will be slicing like uh, before you are making a potato chips right you used to slice it through so after slicing you used to take it uh, chips and you are eating right like that it uh, the eating purpose is called as 3d printing is going to print it okay so like that you are slicing and next you are saving the file again to stl and you are feeding it to feeding means that you are launching to mission to print this okay so let us move on to next so this is the major chemical software are using for 3d printing so 3d printing means before manufacturing okay so i here there are a few softwares are available um 3d slash tindacad rhino 3d these are the softwares you can able to connect cloud connectors is also i mean i'm telling this is a major role okay so fusion 3 is even this is the major role for fusion 360 because it's a cloud based software and you can able to cloud transform your file without uh, saving this uh, in your desktop you can able to transfer directly to your printers okay let us see about the softwares that what we are using at uh, 3d printers okay so in this session we will use fusion 360 and mesh mixer and ultimaker kura so these are the softwares that we are going to see the demo at today and tomorrow session in first we can i would like to tell about the fusion 360 what is mean by fusion 360 and what is mean by sorry mesh mixer and what is mean by ultimaker kura okay so fusion 360 it's in first cloud based software and it is a collaborative product okay you can able to work only on online like gmail we are working now so you can able to down, you need not to download a file okay once if you are installing the fusion this in your system you should create an autodesk account and you are working on that okay and it is a user friendly software okay and you can able to collaborative and it, i have already told you about it is a collaborative product and it's a collaborative product means you can able to work it in team okay so team means you are you have 10 members in a team or 100 members in a team and you are going to build a car and you are at different places like uh, uh, chennai america london south africa asia china you are wherever else okay and you can able to work it in team and you can able to view others what they did and what you are doing the process only you can able to if you share the art i mean your thing what you are designing they can able to see if you are not showing that you can they can able to see okay so like that and you can encrypt your file there is an important thing you should note this you can encrypt your file and no one can able to you cheat okay so for example if you take solid work some other softwares means they can able to cheat like cut copy paste okay but in fusion 360 you can't able to cheat it's an encrypt and highly confidential can keep it okay and in case if you are working at somewhere else and uh, if you are saving this file in cloud if you log out your id means no one can take yours okay if someone went after you have gone 
they can't able to recover their file anything from yours okay so it's a highly encrypted software and it's really useful okay and future technology also for based on future technology they have been developed in based on cam operations also it's useful you need not to generate any codings and you not to any give any inputs okay without that we can use the cam operations and generate everything it's a major role on 3d printing okay compared to other softwares you can create it simple method okay okay and let us tell about a mesh mixer it's on slicing software after your slicing software you can able to uh, resize it okay uh, in mesh mixer you in not to if if it is possible you can able to make a model in mesh mixer itself okay or else you can make a model in mesh mixer also you not you can able to import or you can able to create a model in mesh mixer also it's also available at there okay next we are getting into an ultimate kura and this is also a slicing software and you can able to slice it and you can able to preview in this okay so preview means you can able to see how many layers it can be created okay and how long it takes so how many do how long it takes how many duration it takes nearly one day three days it's also possible okay and how how um, what is the requirement of the material okay for example you are giving pla or abs okay so uh, if based on your requirement you can able to see in that okay and you can able to adjust the components components means that uh, 3d printing movements no so like you can able to adjust also available okay and i have highlighted a point in that uh, fusion and mesh mixer is the merged two softwares and because these two softwares are called i mean these two products from autodesk okay so you can able to initially if you are installing the fusion 360 means you can there's an option for additive okay and you can able to work okay if you install mesh mixer means you if uh, if you are installing with mesh mixer with same id okay you can able to connect the suit two softwares at one time and you can able to print and you can able to preview the 3d models in three, fusion 360 itself with without printing you can able to see it okay next let us get get into and pre, 3d printer uses okay so i have already told you about uh, 3d printing where to use and how i mean who are can use the what the qualifications should use this 3d printer right so here you can able to see the 3d print i think you all know about uh, cone making the no so like that uh, you can see the picture the person is handling a pin 3d pin right already the filler material filament has been insert after he pressing this the filament is melted and based on your movements so that is called coordinates or uh, based on your movements and based on your requirement so he is creating it so at the time of your movement at suddenly can transform to solid okay once it is in solid then converting to liquid then it is mo moving on to solid again okay that solid is called as bonded it is tightly created okay so like that you can able to see the parish eiffel tower okay so like this is an user friendly for kids okay so kids means you can they can in nowadays the kids are using from third standard onwards the 3d paint okay like likewise they are using a 3d slash software or free cad also is available for them based on their requirement they need not to go for shop and buy the things or toys like that they have if they uh, we can we can able to see the kids are playing with clays right now so like that they are using the systems to create the 3d models and they are creating the models using the 3d print and using the 3d printers okay and 3d printer is a playing a major role on now covid 19 okay in this situation uh, i like to share many things with you about 3d printing so people are using it and attractively in kamatur i'd like to tell about kamatur a person one girl and she was performing uh, i mean studying her ug in fashion designing okay she know about 3d printing they, she is using to create a jewelry okay so jewelry designs she used to create it and and finishing it with colors and various colors and she used to sell it nearly 2 lakhs she has been earned in 2 months okay so likewise we can able to make a mask right so we need it's a, it's a major role so based on the requirement of people 
okay society what is the requirement in society and you should think that and you should work it so like that the people are thinking that and they are making the mask okay 3d mask and it are, it is also making with it's not in plastic and it is also making with a biodegradable product okay so let us see what is that at all and later so these are the 3d printers so it's an encrypted with um, an encrypted with 3d printer okay printers also available so based on that these things are available these are the good in 3d printers in autodesk there is also a software like ember okay so that is an um, major thing in 3d printing uh if you, if you are working with autodesk fusion 360 fusion mesh i mean mesh mixture and ember means you need not to go anywhere else you have a system alone and you have a system alone i mean alone means a personal system is available means you can directly create a 3d model and you can slice the software and you can transfer it through cloud or you can save this file in your cloud id and you can log in into the system and you can able to rework it okay so that is also available in this okay let us get on to next yeah this is an important thing oh this one yeah here's a little bit so these are the technologies are available in 3d printing there are various various on technologies are available okay in this we will see about fusion deposition modding as a demo in later session okay so these are the major roles that industry also performing and based on based on that requirement based on the requirements like a, a small scale industry means they used to they use um, desktop printers okay so industry level means they used to large scale industries they used to create buy a printers like an industry level industry level means it, it's a size like a room size okay so 650 per square feet like that it is an available okay so 3d printer is starts starts from nearly 20000 it's available and until 60 lakhs 70 lakhs is available okay mm -hmm. so this also we will see in later yeah actually the technologies is available in previous years also displayed here so based on the type of the use you should know now so that is an important thing so material execution based on your requirement and based on your use and based on your industry requirement based on that things the 3d printing is using and uh, we all know we all know so from this until now you know about 3d printing how it is work and you should know about the material before manufacturing this is a major role nowadays and no nowadays i mean in our country has banning the plastic things right so this is a good opportunity for us um, for like uh, instead of that i would like to tell an important thing we are we used to go to functions right uh, at the time we can able to see uh, one use cup and one use plates they are using right so likewise you can able to create a 3d printing biodegradable product okay that is also available in 3d printing as a pli is a biodegradable product pli is nothing but polylactic acid and let, we will see it later and these are the important things that you should know and the based on the technology based on the technology is nothing but a process so these are the process and based on this and what type of process and what type of process this material should be used okay so nowadays we can able to manufacture some product using the metals and based on alloys like titanium alloys also is a possible thing you can create a 3d printing mode okay and based on a printer i have shown shown you this right so in this make a board replicator is one of the soft on um, printer this is one of the printer can create a product exactly an exact finishing okay so finishing will be exactly good and uh, as you need not to work secondary work is not necessary only the primary work you can able to print and you can directly export to customer okay like that is an important so let us see about a 3d printer this is a demo printer and before you are buying a printer you should know about the specification this is an important thing uh, we all used to buy a mobile phone right so before that we are seeing that uh, what is the ram and what is the a uh, storage requirement whether it is in 4g or 5g we are seeing like that no so like that you should know about 3d printing before buying it okay what is what if an extruder we are using what is the volume so volume is in the major role okay so in case if you are going to print a mobile case means it is possible for this printer desktop printer okay and this is so called as a desktop printer in case if you are going to create a back case for your laptop okay laptop back case you are going to print means it is not possible so you need to know about build volume also at that time okay and you should know this is the major things and you should know about uh, connectivity 
and you should know what is the weight and what type of material should given to them and important thing you should know about where should keep it okay so there are few 3d printers that are available so if in case if you are using the pla filament mix in this okay in this software in this printer you are going to use pla filament it is not there is no drawback in that you can keep it in a room and you can able to create but in case if you are using abs means you should keep it in around uh, i mean you should keep it in outer environment okay because it it, it creates some toxic okay so toxic toxic means nothing but you, you will get some gitinas like that you will get so in three real element there actually i told it it has biodegradable product now so it is an easy thing okay and important thing you should know and uh, windows requirement this is an important thing you should know okay because based on the requirement you can transfer to cloud okay so based on your hotspot you can able to transfer it and what is the file formats in if you are buying at 20 20000 means there is no file formats are available only stl is available okay so if you you have a system at uh, some stl you have in system you, if, if you are creating a 3d model means any file format is available but in your printer only stl file format is available means it's not even good and based on that you can able to create a various file formats i mean various 3d models you can able to create it okay so this is an industry printers okay so here you can able to see a only one person is available he can able to see the process what is going on and nearly it will predict if in case any problem is available in that you can able to predict it and you can able to work okay and at that time you can able to here only one here only one man he is going to take the finishing component from this machine out only okay no he need not to go to machine and he not he not need not to go to the machine and feed the raw material like that is nothing is required at here okay let us see how the 3d printing works okay so before that we can see about uh, what are, what what are the components available at here okay mm, yeah you can see a screen is available so screen will be available at right side or bottom based on the machine it is available okay uh, there are two extruders will be available in your printer okay you can able to see the nozzle no that is called a nozzle 1 and nozzle 2 is available at right side corner as extruder that is called uh, two extruders and there are extruder motors are available Sorry. yeah just a minute okay fine um so now we can see x y z motors so this is nothing but the coordinates the based on this coordinates the motors used to move at simultaneously okay so simultaneous nothing but at that time it can able to move so each motor has have an fan motor fans so because uh, oh, sorry, only for extruder it has fan because it will melt until i mean its temperature is until 600 degrees it goes okay so in main board you will use to feed your pen pen drive or sd card okay so hot bed this is an important thing you should note okay so the gap between the bed and your nozzle is your a4 sheet size thickness this, this gap should be maintained okay and while you're printing the nozzle will be static okay so your bed will be moves towards downward and it is uh, it will print so only the purpose of nozzle i mean extruder purpose is only to move in x y direction and in z direction the bed will move okay so extruder bed will be goes down and the printer uh, printer means uh, extruder is called as a printer okay so it will moves only in static direction x y okay so this is the working principle of of 3d printing okay uh, before that uh, shall we go for a break after the break we will start the questions what is your what are the questions you have i will answer okay so let us go for a break participants uh, if you have uh, any queries you can just uh, post it in q and a
participants if you have any queries you can post it in q and a uh yuvraj you your audio is uh, you in mute please check your audio yeah monish kannan you have asked me a question that uh, slice software is free to download yeah it's free to download so unprofessional software are nearly it's easy to download and uh, you need to create an id for that to download okay so mesh mesh also you need to create an autodesk id and it's free to download okay so next any queries can we print yeah sure you can able to print the material metals also it's available okay so i have already shown you here yeah here a powder bed and inkjet head 3d printing here you can able to create metal to okay so here you can able to create a metal so as a 3d printing based on your requirement of 3d model you can able to create it okay so next vishwanand how the tolerance is maintained yeah tolerance is maintained by uh, cad 3d model itself okay in 3d model we used to i mean we, know, we all know about gdnt right so based on that in drafting in 3d model 3d software itself you can able to create tolerance and after that you can able to save it into stl then you can able to fit it to 3d printing okay so next ranjit um shall we yeah sure you can uh, compare to subtractive manufacturing and additive manufacturing you have nearly more strength enough strength is created in that okay you have more ductility and you can able to reuse also okay i mean uh, for example you can tell it as a thermoplastic no like that it will be a, a thermoplastic means in switchboards right so, uh, in old days we, we used to keep a strong switchboard no so like that it's an, uh, also available and nearly it is a good thing okay so next what will be the maximum investment so it's a one time investment kana so one time investment uh, nearly if you are buying a 3d printer for example you can take a flash forge 3d printer uh, for 80000 nearly it cost 80000 okay so if once if you buy so there is no requirement until 7 to 8 years so you have guarantee and warranty to reuse it okay and uh, you can able to create a 3d printer and it has uh, some maintenance is required okay and i'll tell you it in later okay so what will be the minimum investment yeah i have answered and is this yeah there is an uh, I, actually i told you uh, it's a thickness f for sheet size thickness no that is an important thing you should note so before you are going to print you keep an a4 sheet between your printer uh, i mean extruder and your bed so this is the gap between the nozzle and your bed okay so is there any program using 3d printing is available in online for project purpose so it's not an programming okay kana so it's an uh, uh, user friendly software like uh, solidworks if you know solidworks means it's nothing but you can create your imagination and imagination means as per your requirement you can able to create it in solidworks then you can save it in stl and you can launch it into 3d printing that's it okay even that is also a uh, based on a recommend it is also available is available to work in mobile uh, sorry sri there is no software available in uh, mobile okay so what is the cost of the range of nearly uh, shubhai it cost from nearly 20000 it is available so santosh what is the average temperature to melt the material so based on your uh, uh, selecting the filament okay so we will see it in later okay so we have a uh, lot of things to discuss about that so i will tell you that and there's a drawbacks and advantage and disadvantages available and i will tell you that later okay santosh
if a company focus more on time efficiency it is possible to use 3d printer yeah sure it will take more time and based on that so based on the time only the material is getting strong right so we can't take it faster okay so that is only the drawback in 3d printing or oh, should we do any hardening process after 3D? no you no need to do any hardening process after 3d printing because the hardening process will be done during the printing time itself okay ranjit is it possible to build one 3d printer in low cost yeah sure there uh, there's a kid at bangalore and he had created a 3d printer in his own okay and he's studying at 12th now right so it is also possible to create it in low cost is also available okay one once if you are creating it in low cost still there is not available at low cost if you are creating it low cost means surely you can be an entrepreneur in future okay so for building a hyperdense material type of material which type of printer should be refer sure i will be tell it in furtherly because we have not even crossed the process what are the filaments so based on the filament only you can type uh, select the material okay so which is the advanced technology using the 3d printer so uh, uh, this is a uh, technology you know this is uh, mr Ra 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 ramesh prabhu this is a future technology and this is called additive manufacturing is using the 3d printer okay so which is the advanced technology fine i got it so uh, mr uma shankar based on your printer okay then only we can if you are uh, taking up printers i have already displayed you so based on the printer only you can get a good surface finish if you are uh, for example if you are buying it for 40000 cost as a first flash or something else so it cost you need to uh, finish this product after printing okay like a filing process we will do it at engineering no like the like when you should print it okay will 3d printer yeah sure mr selva there is an uh, there is no difference sure there is a stiffness will be maintained in 3d printer also okay gomati shankar is it possible to maintain the quality of 3d printing sure we can maintain the quality of 3d printing and based on you have asked me a question that layer thickness even we can able to adjust the layer thickness as the hollow or solid we can able to see and i will show you it in your demo also okay Uh, next for biomedical and implants and machines based please give me some specifications sure there is also available for um, biomedical and uh, i will tell you it in uh, in application what uh, what about the biomedical okay if we go for mass production then 3d printing is time consuming compared to separate one sure we will ms uh, kirtana for compared to separate manufacturing 3d printer will take okay for example if you taking a one hour means sure it will take two hours but the finishing will be good in separate manufacturing after the manufacturing you will go to filing process or surfacing finishing process we will go so compared to that 3d printing is best is there any quality difference in filament yeah mr narajan there is a quality difference between filament is there any background coding available for controlling the servo motors like python yeah uh, still now the 3d printers are working with c and c++ programming okay mr what is the difference between 3d printer and 4d printer yeah uh, we before going to 4d printer we all know about what is difference between 2d and 3d right so 2d means x y z correct x y z so that is called 2d and x y z you are making a 3d components like that is called 3d right so likewise you can able to create a uh, 4d means like a 4d four direction you can able to see that is nothing but 4d printing okay can the product is subjected for test like tensile yeah sure you can able to test uh, for tensile or impact test a compression test is also available and sure compared to subtractive sure the same uh, result will be given okay 
uh, or 3D printers majorly used in our world. Yeah, sure, I have already told about the Bukati car, right? They are using the 3D printer. Okay, they have designed a car, and I'll show you it in later. Okay. In future technology, the automobile technology, automobile industries are going to use 3D printers. Now they are focusing on that, and that's why the they are uh, removing the persons, those who are working at industry, they are taking out, right? That they are terminating them, right? Can we build a concrete such as? Yeah, sure. There's a house has been built using the 3D printing. I'll show you in the slide. Can I please ask the question until what we have gone? Because some uh, more people are asking this session. We have not even crossed it. Okay. Nowadays, the 3D printing can be built the house. Yeah, sure. They have built a house at America. 3D printing. Yeah, one minute. Okay, friends, let's get into and topic. So, ask a few questions in this. So, I will go on further slides and you can get the answer through that. Yeah, let us get into working principle on 3D printing. And this, uh, while you seeing this pic, really it's an interesting thing. Okay, when you are working as an engineer. Really, you feel proud on this because it's a simplest method and working with uh, getting a more quality products and you can get more efficient and you can get more benefit in this. Okay, let us see how it is working. Um, your in first pick, you can able to see a filament. So this filament is rolled in a coil and it has been placed and the blue color is called as a filament and you're initially you're inserting it to an pulleys. Okay, so after the pulley, it moves on to heater. So this yellow color is called as a heater. So this pulleys are uh, uh, connected with motors, okay, servo motors. So based on that, it will be inserted. Okay, so after inserting it into nearly based on 200 to 300 Celsius, it has been moving. For example, I'm telling for PLA or ABS. So nearly two. And once you are inserting in this, the filament is get heated. So once if you see the filament is a solid, then it is getting into an heater and it gets into an salt liquid. So it, it will not go to pure liquid. Okay, it will form into solid form. Okay, semi-solid or semi-liquid. It, it has been moved. Okay, so after that it has been filling at the bed. Though initially it will create some supports based on your component. So design the cat's uh, cat software like a fusion you are creating means uh, it is it will create some supports i will show you in that how it is it is and creating a model and you, how you are creating supports are available so i will tell you and and based on this this is an important thing you should note that what is support so support is nothing but if you if you are creating a uh, building okay you are building a house right so after you are keeping a basement you are building a first floor before you are going to first player, you are used to keep bricks now. Okay, so that is called supports. So likewise, here the supports also available. So there are two extruders I have told you already itself. So based on the extruders, supports and extruder. Okay, so the extruder one and extruder two. 
So x to the one has PLA filament and x to the two has ABS. Okay, so these two have the two variations are available, and I'll tell you. And in uh, while you are giving an input, so you can see in third pick, there are two filaments, right? So two filaments are inserting simultaneously, and it get heated at the time of supports the ABS or PLA inserted extrusion one or extrusion two. I if I give extrusion one as support means the white color are called as supports and blue color is called as an i'm sorry yeah blue color is called as an extruder 2 as a pla filament so it, based on after the printing you can remove this from your bed bed means a uh, surface table okay machine bed so after removing that you can able to easily you can able to remove this uh, supports okay so compared to abs uh, pla is good and most of the uh, desktop printers are using the pla filament and is, it is uh, one coil it costs nearly 1000 or 1500 okay and let us come on to second pick in this you are inserting the filament okay so find cylinder this is an important thing you should note and some person, some someone has asked that uh, question that what is the nozzle type? So nozzle thickness and what is the gap between? This is the gap is maintained in 3D printing and the gap is nothing but once if you are going to print means this is my A4 sheet and this is my nozzle extruder and this is my bed. Okay, so if I'm going to print this model, okay, I'm going to print this 3D print. So you are getting this and before touching this, I mean we used to keep and default. Uh, gap between bed and extruder, right? So at the time you are maintaining this gap alone. Okay, I think this is 0 0.5, 0 0.001 mm. So based on that, you are creating this. Okay. So it will create by layer by layer, right? I have already told you that it will create by layer by layer. Once the one layer is completed, means at the time it will move. Uh, so once one layer is completed, right? So next time it will come, means at the time it will be get into solid and it has been find a strong and bonded layer okay so once if you are learning about 3d printing means this is the major role and major thing you should know about 3d printing okay so 3d printing nozzle because it is the heart of a 3d printer right so heart of the 3d printer is if it is not there you can't able to print anything right so this is an important thing you should know and so majorly we will use the correct sizes, the important and the, while you're buying the 3D printers, these three nozzles is also available and based on your requirement, you can able to insert it and you can have to work it on it. Okay. So based on your inserting this and I'll show you the difference. What is the difference between these, these are thing and how it will be filled the hollow component and how it will fill the solid component. I will tell you that. Okay. And note on this, uh, if you have back pain, you should, please note on this. Uh, the common nozzle size is 0.0 mm okay 0.4 mm and optimal layer height between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 mm this is an important thing you know and based on your low quality and high quality the filament will be filled based on this and while you're citing the nozzle that is the thickness okay that is also you should note okay yeah in pla filament you can able to um, get the temperature i mean the heated temperature is at 190 degrees Celsius. Okay. Yeah. Let us get on to the topic. This is an important thing you should know. And SLA. Okay. So SLA, it's an 3D component is converted to STL file. So it is also come uh, you even you can able to call it as also STL. Also, it's an uh, another name for this. And it, it has an one more name. Okay. Uh, it's a triangular language. We used to call it as uh, stereo triangular language is also another name for uh, stereo lithography. Okay, so triangle shape. We are we all know that triangle. So it has some three sides, right? So that is called in 3D. So it's also, so that's why they call it as uh, triangle language. So later it has been transformed to SLA and STL. Okay, and this is a one type of process. Okay. Uh, so furtherly, we have seen. Uh, various technologies available now. So based on this, this is also one type of technology. Okay. So this yellow color is a resin. Okay. So this is a resin and I, uh, this green color, 
CAD. This first pick is the CAD model that you are designed in some softwares like a Fusion or a Inventor like that. You are creating the softwares and you are in inserting into a slicer. So slicer. Uh, you can ask me a question that what is CAMs available? So in Fusion 360, after you are creating a 3D model, you will go to manufacturing part. Okay. So in manufacturing part only the available liti on subtractive and additive is available. So we are getting on to CAM. So that's why I have mentioned this as CAM. Uh, after that, you can move on to additive manufacturing or subtractive manufacturing. So I'm moving into additive manufacturing. So in additive manufacturing, this is also one type of process. And at here, the sunlight, okay, and the sunlight is called as a laser. So laser is uh, moving on this and reflected to one solid. So based on the solid where the laser is passing at that time, at that place, only the component is getting bonded and the liquid form is converted to solid at here. Okay. And it is also called as a photochemical process. Okay. And it is also similar, like it will be adding the materials by layer by layer. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is an important thing. Most of the most of the participants have asked me what is the applications where it is using and whether it is possible for uh, my uh, biomedical. So like that, they have asked a few questions. Like for that, for those people, they will get answered through these upcoming slides. Okay. Let us move on to next. Yeah, the person who are completed mechanical, really they are interested to learn this. Okay, I mean in this slide. So I have already told about this is a cloud-based additive manufacturing, right? So we are we can able to transfer to LAN or uh, cloud connect like Wi-Fi or transfer the files to machine to print it. Okay, so mass customization. I have already discussed about the mass customization for them. The person who was working at automobile industry are those who are interested to become. A, entrepreneur in future sure it will be a useful thing for engineers and in mass customization it's an important and can you able to the mass customization in mass products you can able to manufacture it at a single time with one person okay you need not to uh, be, uh, depend on a person uh, who are graduates to work with your industry okay you need not to require any persons okay only one person is required to maintain the mission and the to launch the files to mission okay that's the important thing <clears throat> let us get into and rapid prototyping rapid prototyping is nothing but we have already discussed you know in future sli further slides uh, before we are creating a 3d model right so you are creating a 3d model using the fusion 360 or inventor software as a 3d model as a prototype right so that is called some rap rapid prototyping without any sort uh, creating a practical physical component, you are seeing through a software using Fusion or Inventor as a 3D model that is called rapid prototyping. <clears throat> so research. So in research, uh, in education purpose, let us go, get into an education purpose like an engineering and school levels, they are using uh, 3D printers uh, based on the school requirements. For example, if the kids are uh, studying right now, so they used to create a models uh, like animals or something else you want to create it means even if you want to print your name it's available and they can be able to print for kids okay so let's get into an engineering if you're getting an engineering in engineering student students engineering sorry engineering student student should know about some softwares as a 3d softwares and then they can able to create a model like one okay so they have mini process and final year process right so this will be useful for them and without and they can able to create this 3d models as a, uh, for the requirement of the project uh, they can able to create it in simple and low cost and the cost is also low okay <clears throat> so you can able to uh, in, in ways that, uh, you know all that in traditional manufacturing or uh, manufacturing process you all know about the dyes and molds are patterns right nearly compared to a raw material uh, your dyes and molds are, will be in strong right so likewise your printing the dice pattern using 3D printing. So think that, uh, so uh, before that, you're, some people have asked me your questions. So whether you have stiffness or ductility or strength, right? Sure, I'll give 100% assurity that you will have uh, strong ductility, strength, you all will have in that, okay? <clears throat> so 
so in medical um, in fu uh, future the uh, hospitals right so the, in future technology biomedical students are focusing on 3d printing also okay you can ask me a question that whether it is biodegradable yeah sure it's on biodegradable we are for heart patients we are enjoying right we are sending a stud to heart for heart patients right so that stud is biodegradable after 10 years it will be decomposed right so likewise you can able to create a material uh, we can take an example we all know about sugar can right so after uh, when you are going to a sugar can shop and you are buying a tumbler of juice right and you are uh, you can able to see that after they getting a cup of uh, that liquid right after the that uh, waste stage they are using thrown out right and by using that uh, we are doing a project on that also uh, like students also you are doing and in that thing they are noticing that it is a biodegradable and it is not harmless there is no toxic in that so we can use that as uh, one use cup and one use tumbler is possible so likewise if you do a project on that means it is also possible then it is a future technology and it is a biodegradable product okay so if you make some changes on that means it is a possible thing and you can able to use it in also in 3d printer okay so let us get into an 3d bio printing biomedicals and uh, for example i can tell you in indonesia there is a person and he was affected by a, for example i am telling this uh, he was affected by a kidney failure right so the doctor after he has admitted in hospital the doctor has said that he, he can't able to sustain uh, able to live and if uh, live more than 40 hours 48 hours and you should need immediate kidney transplant so there is not available after that they have uh, i mean i was telling that is in olden days okay so they have transplanted a kidney from a rat okay so they have transplanted a kidney from a rat and we can able to keep it for a human for one day 28 hours you can able to keep that and you can able to live after that they have been focused on bio degradable so based on that they can able to replace the components like if your hands has been broken means you can able to replace using uh biodegradable components like a metal they used to say we have, we have keep on a metal plate right like that you can able to create it okay okay so let us get into an industrial application so in future uh, some person has have asked me a question it is possible to create a house right so it is a possible thing um let us talk this about about this okay so apron so, so it is nothing but in clothes okay so future uh, we not we not to depend on textiles right you can able to create a, if you know about 3d printing something means if you can able to buy a filament and you can feed it in and you can able to create a model <coughs> using 3d printing as a dress what you have required okay so in future i know i think you all know about uh, adidas right so they are focusing on shoes to print a model using 3d printing sure there's a you can able to give, uh, you can uh, you can google it okay so who are, uh, who are using the printers to use to build a shoes if you know 3d if you have 3d printer or if you know cad models you can able to print this model and if you are going to somewhere else and you need different shoes means you can able to create a model shoes at right that time itself and it will be an flexible thing okay <clears throat> so in industry art and jewelry sure in future technology you need not to depend uh, you are you are going to a jewelry shop and you are buying thing right so if you have a golden coin you can insert it and you can able to print this okay so based on your requirement you can able to print this models also so for that you can you need a die right so create that model even that is also you can create it here uh some uh, some person have asked me a question that uh, in future technology where automotive industry will use this 3d printing uh, sure they will use and already they have entered into into manufacturing in now nowadays itself uh, for example i have already told about the bukari chiron that car has been built using the 3d printing right so using the abs filament they have been created that model and they had been uh, test drive they have gone for a test drive and it has been run until uh, 40 to 50 kilometers it has been rendered because they have been assembled the components like a, a kids for example for kids are playing the uh, building blocks right now so like that they have assembled okay so it's nearly small components so like that, like which they have been created and they have been 
given for a test drive and nearly until 40 to 50 kilometers it has been run successfully and here has been some some what uh, some distracted after that so it's a good goodest thing they have been done in indian automotive industry so we can able to see that future uh, automotive products has been developed ready here mm, let us get on to construction yeah you can able to see this fourth uh, pick there's a house has been built okay it is an it has been house has been built using a uh, uh, 3d printing okay <clears throat> so you can see this the 3d printing is how the house is building preview in third pick uh, this house has been built at america and it has been 650 square feet they had been built okay and it has been built by a uh, texas company okay and and it has been built for the person who are um, low poor right on road sides they are living on road sides you know so they are focusing on their them and they are uh, doing the works on that and focusing on that okay and really it's a good thing and if you love, if you know something about this printing sure you can help you need not to depend on any person you need uh, you need you know you need not any manpower for this future technologies okay and fire alarms you know all about it and even fire uh, fire alarms also available in 3d printed components okay even if your computer mouse has been broken or keyboard has been broken means you need to depend on anything you can able to print this models okay <clears throat> in uh, one this is an important thing uh, in uh, future okay i think uh, you all know about that uh, spacex has been launched a vehicle uh, scheduled to moon right in that nine engineer has been assembled in that okay in that the few components has been made through 3d printing because it have ductility and strong strength and material so it has been focused on 3d printing and they have been launched it and you all know about that the schedule okay the falcon 9 that the vehicle name is that even it has been used the second time first time they have launched nearly 4 to 5 years before they have been launched and yet it got failure okay there has been reused that engine so it they used to call it as dragon falcon 9 okay and the material is used best printed by 3d printing okay so let us move on to software okay so how the 3d printing is 3d printing uh, before that how let us see how it is uh, working uh, just one minute so i am using yeah just now i have downloaded a mesh mixer so software and installing Yeah, uh, just one minute. <coughs> Sorry. so likewise uh, compared to mesh mixer it's an one of the good uh, slicing software is an good as thing and it is user friendly for all okay from kids like uh, from fifth standard they can use if they able to understand means it is a good thing for them also to learn and it is also user friendly for kids sorry or oh, wait for a few minutes so we are working on cloud red so it will took some time to upload the files it will show you So you know what you can do is uh, just stop your sharing and again share your screen. Uh, sorry, sir. No, no, we can't can't see uh, your screen yeah. in uh, presentation yes. mode. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ye
yeah sir uh, actually i am opening the fish 360 and it is opening okay, sir okay 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 fine okay sir so i hope you can able to see the fish 360 and it is cloud based software so it will took some time to open my internet connection connection is somewhat slow oh, so that it took some time so when the fish 360 opening uh, after the start page has came in so i should log in my id yeah it has been open so i am going to log in my id so i'm logging into my id so you have an individual passwords also so only i have told that it's in highly encrypted software only the and this is only the first software performing on cloud okay uh and one person have asked me a question that you, it is possible to use it in phone yeah right it is in use you can able to use uh use means you can able to view this model in your phone okay yeah i'm sorry like gmail i was logging into my autodesk account yeah i'll show you how to encrypt your files also okay in this session so i have already told about your industry 4.0 right so it is also playing a major role like on a <coughs> sorry so it is a major role okay so based on that only the fish industry also has came and it is also playing a major role in abroad okay so they are focusing on industries okay so at already sir, sir has been told they has been focusing on uh, generative design it is an upcoming session for us and if you are interested you can able to participate in that also and when you are participating in that you can able to learn about fusion theory and generative design using this okay so i think my id has been logged in right so when at any spare there is no an individual id right so when i was logged into my fusion you can able to see that you are at shanwam that is my name and it has been logged in to my id so this is a interface okay so this is a fusion 360 and i have already have created a few models set here itself okay so in that i will show you a demo also first i will show you a model that i have been created at here so this is the model set i have created in this mm, yeah 3d printing mm, i have created a house using 3d printing so i need to print this model right yeah i have opened the mesh mixer also so we are working on cloud so it took some time sorry for your inconvenient so once if you know any software it is useful once if you learn fusion 360 and you can able to learn any software easily okay because it is a user friendly once if you if you know once if you, if you know tools means you can easily use it in any software also okay it is also and it is also similar like an inventor also if you know inventor you can also able to use this okay and one thing you, should, you can able to understand i mean understand means uh, uh, most of the boys are in engineering they used to create a uh, drawings like a uh, conceptual designs right so i have to update this software right so i was opening my model set i have already did okay yeah it's taking few minutes yeah the concept is called right so concept is called are created yeah one minute 
ड्यू टू नेटवर्क इश्यू आएगा वो सॉरी फॉर फॉर योर इनकनवीनियंट माय सिस्टम हैज बीन स्टॉप ड्यू टू लो इंटरनेट कनेक्शन सो विदाउट इंटरनेट कनेक्शन यू कैन एबल टू वर्क इट इन फ्यूजन सो वन मिनट आई वाज फोकसिंग ऑन दैट yeah i have told you that the concept is called red so without dimension you can able to create a model so concept is nothing but the kids are using the clay models right uh, like uh, they creating a toy or some houses they used to build right by using the clay right so likewise uh, you can able to create a model using fusion 360 as uh, in uh, freestyle model okay and it is also user friendly for us and you can able to edit that also in fusion okay uh, one thing so one minute i'm sorry for inconvenience again my internet connection is too slow that's why i can't able to open it again yeah one minute one minute i'm sorry for your inconvenience again wait wait one minute I'm sorry for your inconvenience. Let us see using mesh mixture. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Rohit, uh, are you there? Sir. Rohit. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. In case if the screen is not responding, I think Rohit is free. Okay. In case your your Raj, are you okay? Your your software is up and running now. Yeah, sir. It's uh, my internet connection is too slow, sir. That's why I'm not able to open it. So, few minutes, sir. I will open it, sir. So only for few minutes I will open it, sir. You better one suggestion. Uh, you can turn off your video. Maybe then we're taking much of your network. Yeah. Okay. Sure, sir. Sure. Yeah. It has been opening, sir. One minute, sir. Okay. So one minute. Yeah, it has been going to open. Yeah, sir. We can't see your screen. Uh, sir, just just now it's opening, sir. Okay, okay. So after opening, I will share, it, sir. So maybe you can answer some of the questions if you want. Yeah, sure, sir. Sir, sure. Yeah, one minute, one minute. It is. It is opening. Okay, fine. During the session, I will ask you. Uh, I will answer your questions that what you have asked. Uh, first, is there any variation in micro hardness because the layer of printing? Yeah, sure. Uh, there is a difference between uh, micro hardness. You can able while this. while it is creating by layer by layer right so it, at the time while it is printing no so once it one layer is one layer is finished means so it for example if you are going to create a mouse right so it creates nearly uh, 100 mod 100 slides right so if one slide is finished means at the time of coming next slide right at the time it coming to return no that time itself it will harden okay fraction of second it will be transformed to solid 
okay at the time when uh, at the time of traveling from nozzle right at the time alone it will be transformed to semi liquid okay then then it will be transformed to normal state as solid okay and next is there any software to convert 3d design to server codes so i have already told you that converting there is no software to convert okay so for the converting purpose only you are transfer uh, saving after you con converting the design completing your design you are saving it as stl right so after that only you are moving on to 3d printing right so like mesh mixture you are transforming to sliding slicing software right so next so we have directly imported cat drawing in 3d printer machine after slicing and we can print and there is no need of any programming like no you know uh, you no need any programming for uh, printing okay once if you completed to 3 cad model and you have saved it as stl directly you can launch it to 3d printer and you can directly print it okay before that you have few steps to uh, positioning your uh, extruder that is an important thing you should notice after the uh, noting um, positioning your printer uh, then you have to check your thickness what is the uh, thickness means what is the gap between your nozzle and your bed okay uh, once again let us check whether my fusion is opened no i'm sorry for inconvenient uh it will take i think it will take few minutes to open i will answer for few questions are available i will answer for that mm, so professor um, slicing yeah i have answered your question next by cool surrounding atmosphere can we reduce the support no there is no uh, there's no related relation i mean uh, we should not relate the support with temperature okay the support is automatically it will generate it. based on your component only the supports are creating so in, in that is no there is no um, we should not compare with it with a temperature and your supports okay so what is the normal temperature for molding an object or device so based on your filament only we can say the temperature and i, I already told about that it will goes on until your uh, industry printers are nearly it will took nearly 33 sorry 3000 degree celsius it, it goes for desktop printers nearly from minimum 200 to sorry 192 you can go up to until 600 okay so there is no materials are available which is not possible we are making it possible than 3d printers like a uh industries are focusing on the material which is possible we can able to print models okay the filaments are able to print print okay so let us check me once again whether my fusion is opening yeah oh, one minute i let me share my screen with all of you okay uh, i think just you know just give me one second so uh, you know all of you know this uh, 3d printer right the autodesk has uh, you know 3d printer called as umbert okay so so this is how you're going to open this uh, you know particular file uh, in fact this printer if you see the center assembly uh, you know um, has different parts okay and these parts can be also independently printed right say for example if i want to take a base part or maybe the part which uh, let's let's suppose any particular part here okay. so this is a entire you know 3d printing assembly here and in this particular assembly now if you want to take one particular part 
pain so this is a stepper motor okay or maybe this is a a mold plate okay now suppose if you want to print separately here so we have the utility here we have to go to the tools and there is option called as make here okay and this is going to be a kind of an app right uh, with the help of this mixer you can open it and uh, then this app uh, will help you to uh, you know print that particular part so this is uh, you can see there is a new application which will be launching but uh, the the here interesting way is you know you can part what i have selected here okay which will come over here so where you can scale down you can make it one as to one and this environment actually helps you know everyone to uh, make some changes make some corrections you know in the part so we have to take some particular action you know uh, you you look at the this ready printer uh, which will uh, which will also you know help you to understand its what is its uh, bit size okay uh, uh, this is you can take these actions here um, there is also uh, the latest version you may how to update uh, you know for this uh, mesh mixer okay and this is the import you know xp you know the preferences as well and then you can save as an stl file as well so there are many ways where you can save or uh, as an stl file but if you want to do any you know specific task here you know you can do it or let's say for example i want to change the uh, maker board printer to uh, let's say uh, i want to print it through some bigger stratasys printer i can also pick the model as well okay so uh, let's take a 40s okay uh this is 380 i can take it it's a little bigger print and uh, you can also see that like uh, overall size of that particular print of uh, stratasys 40s uh, 380 mc okay now this is in okay okay now if you want to print any you know any you know specific uh, part here you know by using uh, this uh, fusion so you can do it because that that will really uh, reduce your cycle time as well and uh, through this also you can directly apply the command called as print okay uh, it it will give the, the further operations also okay so that's that's a very simple utility which is called as order as mesh mixture so would you like to add anything uh, mr yugraj so you can oh, you can't see my screen yeah i can able to see sir no i can able to see sir so no okay. yes i'm sorry no no can you see my fusion screen roy oh no sir yeah no. now i can able, yeah now i can able to see sir no fusion screen sir right yeah no it is fusion yeah it's, it's, it's now fusion yes. it's okay this is mesh mixture can you see this yeah yeah sure. yeah i can see both okay yeah so i will explain this, yeah this is what uh, the yuraj is supposed to demo right so any any other details that you would like to discuss here with the audience yeah sure sir i can able to tell sir uh, yeah i have already told you that autodesk uh, has a 3d printer right this is called ember this is a 3d printing that autodesk is using so in this one component is that sir has been told that uh, by using Aut autodesk mesh mixer he is told that you can in case if you have any edit if you want to edit means you can able to edit also it is available on mesh mixer okay so even mesh mixer uh, there are few options are available for kids you can you need a toy means you need not to go for a shop you can able to import it okay by using you can click a mesh mix uh, mesh mesh mix so these are the options that you can able to edit okay so edit means you can able to place it or you can import one more model or you can able to create a pattern options pattern options means you can create n number of products importing okay uh, so one one second pick that uh, mesh mix sir. second options sir. yeah yes so in this primitives so pick that so here the few options are available okay for example uh, based on your future technology you are focusing on your kids to learn right so based on that you can tell them to learn this options and once uh, pick if you pick arms or ears or heads means based on that you can import a model okay like that like that it will importing and you can able to print that model at that time itself okay so if you once if you connect, your your printer is connected with your mesh machine means directly you can give a print option or else you can transform it by 
uh, SD card or pen drives. Okay. I'm sorry for your inconvenient today. Sure, I will make sure I will give a, a demo session at morning tomorrow session, and then we will discuss the further slides at tomorrow. So if you have any queries, you can ask me based on what we have discussed right now. Okay. <clears throat> So, so let us go for a question and answer session. So few people have asked me a questions. So let us discuss this. How many materials can be used in cruel machine? How many materials can be added machine? So only two materials you can add at that time because we have only two extruders at the time. Okay. So if you are focusing on a uh, desktop printer means only two is available. If you are focusing on uh, industry printers means it is available in our filaments you can add at the time color printers are uh, color company, physics color company, you can able to create it, okay? And and can able to create it in industry printers, okay? Uh, next, uh, you have told about 3D pen in which made up of what kind of material? So uh, there is nothing but what the filament we are using in desktop printers, at the same filament you are feeding it there, right? So even kids can able to uh, work it on desktop printers, right? So that is flexible and they have made it as 3D pen, okay? Can you tell about easy available materials in market? Yeah, PLA and ABs are, and uh, there are few filaments are available in market, and you can buy it. Do you mean to say that the 3D drawing software is to learn? Yeah, you should learn a 3D modeling software, and uh, you, uh, based on professionals, you should learn 3D modeling software. And if you're not professional, you can learn softwares. Okay, even Fusion 3 is useful for anyone. Okay, and it is a user-friendly software. I already told you that it's a user-friendly software. Can you throw some light against printing using 3D? Yeah, sure. You can able to print it. Uh, based uh, like a glass product also is nowadays they're focusing on that and they're creating a model. I mean, filament is focusing on glass type models like a transparent. Okay. How quality the 3D printing output product measured and assured the terms and dimensions? Yeah, sure. You can assure like a, a traditional manufacturing products are giving assurance. You can say that this product is high quality and how it's strengthened and it is safety material like that. You can give an assure it on. 3D printing also, okay, like uh, based on uh, some filaments working with an alloys like a titanium mixed with, you can give an assurance in that. Next, so what is the timing consuming the process? So, uh, already the sir has been imported a model on uh, mesh mixture, right? So, from that, when you're giving a print option, you can see that and uh, see that means you can able to preview the model and it, it will be displayed that. Uh, what time it took and what uh, how many amount of material it requires okay and what uh, how many material requires for extruder one and extra two you can able to define in that itself okay <clears throat> can you give the web link to learn softwares there so it's a user friendly uh, user friendly so you can type uh, software for slicing okay slicing software if you type you can able to get it so for that you can i will i will suggest that mesh mixture to download if you go to google and just type mesh mixture and you can able to download it directly. If you want to learn 3D models, means you can download the Fusion 360. Just go to Google and download Fusion 360 and create an Autodesk account. You can directly log in and you can able to learn it usefully. Okay. Is there any questions? Friends, if you have any questions, you can ask me right now. Yeah, Rohit, also you can post some links uh, students to learn this course. Okay. Okay, okay. So I will put some design academy course here. Yeah. yeah, there are a few things you can learn and you can get a certification from Autodesk directly without any payments. There's an uh, Autodesk design academy. Okay, you need an Autodesk account and you should log in in that. You can enroll the course, whatever you like. And there are there are a lot and lot of courses are available and interesting courses for students. There is available. You can able to learn through that and by uh, at the same time, you can use in Fusion 3, Fusion 360 also, and you can help it to learn. Okay. Is there any queries? Uh, fine. Uh, there is no textbook available on online. You can able to. There are some videos available to learn. 
the actual 3D printers are an impact is also then future reduce the scope of softwares like ANSYS. No, uh, after before you're going to ANSYS, uh, before sorry, before you're going to 3D printing, right? If you will analyze, right? So, 3D printing, uh, going to 3D printing, you will analyze the product whether it is sustainable or you can able to create that. Uh, future scope, yeah, I will ensure that till that the ANSYS will go down because the gender to design is playing a major role in the industry, right? So, you are going on fusion for reducing the weight or you are checking the weight on how the metal is ductility or uh, strength and like that you are going to check, right? Then performance of um, lifespan of material like that you are going to uh, getting a result on answers, right? So it's all overcome by generative design. So it has been like, like what are you going to do in answers? So you all will be, all the steps are simply done by generative design, okay? So I have answered your question. Then next, will vendors make a filament for our requirement and all standards have given and taken? Yeah. Is Fusion series compatible with any 3D printer make? Yeah, you can able you can able to connect because it's in cloud-based software, you can able to connect directly through <coughs> cloud itself. And your I have told that you are logging in with same ID, right? So you can able to log in and you can transfer it simultaneously and you can able to print at the time itself. So do you have career opportunity for instrumentation engineer in this field? Yeah, you can uh, create a even uh, so day by day the 3D printer has been the, playing a major role, right? So we even we have some drawbacks in that even you can able to overcome in that. Okay. So any questions? So participants, if you have any questions, please ask. I will answer now. In spite of uh, creating 3D models in modeling software, can we use? Yeah, yeah. I forgot to tell you one thing. Uh, without 3D software so without cat software we, you can able to scan the product okay by using scanners you can able to uh, scan the product and you can able to uh, create a model or using the slicing software and then you can able to print this model okay and uh, but it cost is too high uh, 3d printers cost is, uh, scanner is too high so even you can able to scan by using a mobile phone also which is available um, i'll tell you the software what is available in mobile phone like a clone like that few softwares are available and it is in paid version and before you are printing that scanning your model you need to keep a grasping sheet like uh, you have a chessboard right like that you should keep and then only you should scan it okay that's an important thing i hope you have answered it so what is the minimum and maximum thickness can be designed so thickness is not a major role at here okay so um, based on your requirement so if you're going to uh, design a tumbler means you know the what is the thickness of it, right 0 0.1 1 mm is your tumbler thickness means you can uh, give a thickness in 3d model and you can import it at there and already sir has been told if you have any changes means you can able to edit in there. Uh, like already i have imported i have given this 2 mm means you are importing it to make this mixture and you can able to reduce the thickness to 1 mm okay Is the cooling system of 3D printing is air cooling? Cooling fan means it can be changed in model accuracy by force of an air or not. Yeah, sure. Uh, there's a cooling fan, so it, it will not interrupt uh, interrupt the extruder. Okay, so it will only the focusing on the extruder what the filament is, right? So only the I have already told you that once one the layer is finished, that next step, I mean next uh, slicing part is coming. At the time, it should be solid, right? In case if you're going at second layer, means it will be collapsed, right? So that purpose, the cooling fan is used, okay? So which material are used in raw material in 3D printing? The majorly playing a PLA and ABS is the major role. And it is the education use for uh, schools and engineering colleges, okay? So how quality output the product measured? Sure, I have 
told you already itself so compared to manufacturing the 3d printing quality is uh, getting a major role and getting a quality is good and you can able to get exact finishing product in that itself okay so stl is nothing but uh, stereo lithography it's a type of a process and it has an another name stereo triangle language also okay so you can get the material through 3d printer shops are available okay so shops means uh, some uh, industry has okay so or else you can able to buy it through online itself it is available in all websites online it is available can you please tell me a online platform for 3d printing so yeah i'll suggest you tomorrow that what are the online platforms available on tomorrow programming so when you are getting into laser we all know about laser right so in manufacturing industries uh, uh, for example we can take a uh, ceramic tiles right so we all to we used to see the mountains are cutting and it get exact finishing using the water jet cutting right so likewise you will get exact finishing through laser cutting also okay and the, by uh, through laser cutting you will get an exact finishing also oh uh, yeah this is a good question what is the voltage and current specification requirement right so it is an uh, like it, it is half the ratio of your heater right so we can take an example of an uh, iron box what is the voltage it requires like right it also to voltage and it, you can able to work it in house voltage is 230 to 240 voltage is okay for uh, 3d printer okay so hope so current range is nothing but i have told you that uh, the house we have uh, 222 to 240 voltage we have, it will come right so that is enough for uh, desktop printers and telling okay so any more questions dear participants if you have any questions you can ask me now until the slides what we have gone you can ask me in that and based on softwares if you have any doubts you can ask me now so sorry to say but i have so no problem okay friends uh, i hope today i have learned something about 3d printing and it has playing a major role on uh, playing a major role on current covid 19 right so doctors are wearing a, a coat right like apron we used to tell us apron uh, like likewise we can uh, they are focusing on 3d printers are focusing on like like apron uh, aprons and uh, helmets for doctors and mask right so i have a uh, mask also mask demo model is available so unfortunately my fusion is not working tomorrow sure i will show you the experiments what i have listed in the program and i will tell you that how it is uh, it works and how it will be printing using the mesh mixer and kurana fusion this i will be telling that okay and i will handle this session to mr ram shankar sir oh, thank you mr yuvraj and uh, welcome, thank you ramesh sir for the wonderful session today Uh, we hope uh, we will be getting more informations, and uh, we will be ensuring that uh, we will uh, get into fusion and uh, mesh mixture with more demonstrations by tomorrow. And for the tomorrow sessions, uh, we will just uh, get coordinated with the uh, WhatsApp group. And there are many other queries which is uh, replied by me uh, privately with the participants. Uh, if you have uh, such queries, you can just directly call me at the number which I have shared you. So we will just discuss uh, privately.
thank you all uh, thank you for the participation and we will uh, join for the tomorrow's meeting thank you yeah thank you sir